Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby and I'm back again with another video and today's video is the continuation of the last video that I did about the inhumane discrimination against Africans living in China, specifically Guangzhou. They are just not aware. They are just not aware. They don't even allow us to They don't even allow us to They are just, just walking on the road. You see, we are just... They cannot give us house. They cannot give us hotel. They cannot provide a place we can stay. They are just following us. You see, they are just following us. They don't... I want us to stay one place. Okay. If I don't talk about it, I don't know who else is going to talk about it because people are saying that I complain a lot. I'm not here to complain, but I'm here to create awareness because what our fellow brothers and sisters are going through in China is really terrible. This happening and sad at the same time. I don't even know the exact word to describe what is going on at this very moment. And as a young African who have lived in China, who knows how it feels like to be discriminated and having this platform over 340,000 subscribers, I cannot keep quiet. I have to come in here create awareness so that you and I as an army on YouTube spread a message to the world to know that what is happening in China you just have to do your best share the video tag your ministers tag your president tag people in position in Africa to see what is going on in China I'm not making things up People are insulting me. People are telling me that. And it's so sad to see Africans insulting me, telling me that, oh, blame our own people. People are telling me that, oh, tell them to go back to their country. People are telling me to like, come and develop your own country. So are you trying to tell me that the Chinese people that are living in um, Africa, it means that China is not developed, that's why they are here? Come on. It's about time you forget the countries that we're coming from and come together as one Africa and support our fellow people. The self-hate is too much among us. Wake up, Africans. I just don't get it. This is sad. Just take a look at what our fellow brothers and sisters are going through right now. We are, we are too many. We are too many. We are too many. We are too many. They keep on shooting us. They keep on shooting us. They are, they are testing us again. 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 No house, no Anywhere we go, they will test us. We have a lot of difficulties we are going through right now because we have been in a lockdown for uh, at least three months now. And we have a lot of challenges we are going through at this time. And the most challenge is racism. We are facing racism in a way that we cannot access medical care in hospitals. When we go to hospitals and we need any help, all they tell us is, please go away. After checking our passports and finding out that we are blacks, actually finding out that we are from Africa. Another challenge we face is we cannot use the public means. Because when we try to use that, like if you want to use a bus and you enter a bus, uh, all the Chinese come out. They all come out and they leave you in the bus alone. Like they are protesting, they can't travel with an African. Another challenge is we are not allowed to use, like to go to the supermarket to buy what we want. We cannot use the hotels. When we go there, after checking your passport, the only thing they tell you is, go away, please go away. Another challenge is some of our friends are, have been uh, thrown out of the houses they've been renting with no reason, not anything. The landlord just comes one morning and tells you, please make sure that today you leave my house. And another thing is, uh, another challenge is they are forcing us to test for COVID-19 because uh, they come to our houses with no notification they just come to your house and ask for your passport if you're african they tell you that we've come to uh, to to test for covid 19. if you're not african they tell you no and when they come uh they after testing they only tell you that we shall call you after three days when you're positive and if you're not positive no one will call you they don't leave you with any document to see that you have tested or that you or that you can show to any other person that you have tested we also face a challenge of 
food like we, we don't have food as for now we don't have money for rent and we ask the government to please intervene now these people don't have places to sleep they are all over the street of Guangzhou and the police are still chasing them so where do you expect these people to be they cannot be on the street right they cannot be outside so I wish I suggest that hotels also we have a check if they check the foreigner and the foreigner is okay the foreigner has no virus they can lodge him in a hotel instead of denying him not to lodge in a hotel it could be dangerous also and after chasing them all day in the night they have to sleep on the streets Africans will never treat Chinese people this way in Africa and I cannot keep quiet till something is done when something is done, when African leaders decide to help them, I will keep quiet. And if don't help them, I will continue pressing on this story. No new video till something is done on this issue. Even some Chinese are speaking against what is happening. They are tweeting that, please do not use vulgar language on the internet to attack a nation, especially black people. Africans do business in our country, only tens of thousands. We are in Africa, in the United States, in Japan, Britain, and other countries, and our numbers are even more than this. Law breaking or not, legal or not, own laws or supervision, do yourself first, treat other nations in a civilized way. Treat other nations in a civilized way. Like I've seen some Chinese people going out at night to give blankets to black people it's happening brother i'm not making things up this is something that is real forget about the people who came to china to do business what about the black people living in the country specifically guangzhou they were chased out of their house listen to what they are saying the police came to our place and they evicted us and not me i wasn't there alone i was there with my wife and my daughter at least, even if you have to evict him, if you have to evict us like that, look at the small daughter and you ask us to move out and you send us to the streets and then you brought our things, packed everything on the streets and then you left. So it's true, they came to evict us because they said foreigners cannot live in these apartments because we have the virus. Hello world, hello Africa. This is your girl from South Africa. And today I'm gonna to share my experience with the COVID-19 in China. Um, guys, this has been the craziest two days of my life. I've never been so pressured like this in my life, especially living in China. So basically, um, yesterday morning, my landlord came to my door to tell me that I need to leave my apartment i was given a two-day notice of which today was supposed to be the day where i have to leave my apartment and of course i'm confused i'm panicking i'm asking him what's happening what's the problem and of course he couldn't directly tell me that we don't want foreigners um the community doesn't want black people the community doesn't want you here so it just gave me some you know uh whack excuse that the police don't want foreigners in the building that's what he gave me so i'm on panic mode right now i'm thinking what to do i'm asking people what's happening and some friends are telling me they're experiencing a similar situation uh, a lot of africans have been kicked out and so our landlord gave us uh, an hour quick notice you can imagine only in china that the landlord would just come switch off your light and give you an hour quick notice to leave when you when you have legal signed documents with him you have contracts of a six month rent you have paid up front with the taxation and everything and then and then the 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 the, 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 the landlord will just come to your door and knock and tell you he's coming up in 10 minutes that he's giving you an hour to pack out with the whole situation out there and the saddest thing is that when this whole COVID-19 broke out, it was Africans who came together to support China. They started chanting. Wuhan, 
Jungwa Jaya, Jungwa Jaya, So now Africans are the target. You're always looking for opportunity to discriminate against Africans. Now you're calling it the African virus, which means that the virus started from Africa. When Donald Trump said the Chinese virus, most of you were mad. Do things in a civilized way. I, I just don't get it. Because Africans are only the target, the black people are only the target. Thursday, April 9th, uh, China, Guangzhou. I live here with my lady. We sit in here waiting for the Chinese government to go check us and then we'll be quarantined for the next 14 days. And the worst part of it is that none of us is sick or has the virus and we've been or traveled China. recently yeah we've been back to china for over two months over two months now but actually she wasn't supposed to be quarantined no i was at first and then they gave me a choice yeah because i'm white they gave her a choice that, that she can be somewhere else she's my wife but they gave her a choice to be somewhere else and the african black dude should be in the quarantine uh we just sit in here waiting for them to come and they're gonna put an alarm on our door so nobody is gonna open the door for the next two weeks unless they come to check our temperature and stuff and that's because we are the lucky ones uh other people are being kicked out forced to go to hotels to quarantine some are forced to go to quarantine centers and some are kicked out their apartment or their hotels they have no food no clothes nowhere to sleep nowhere to go because even the airport is closed so like there's no flight coming in and out. And most of, most of those people, there's only like cargo flights coming in and out of Guangzhou right now. What is happening is really sad. They can't go to restaurant to buy food. Where are my dungs here? Why go in Bumai? They can't go to hospital. Even a pregnant woman, they refuse. To check on her because she's black. Here you go. Look. Yeah, measure, measure, measure. Fine. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Say no. Ah, oh, they got a bodyguard. She's gone. pregnant. You don't attend to foreigners. Where we come from is how you have to treat us. People that have shops immediately they see a black man coming they start running away Oi. Hmm? Yo. Yeah. Huh? this is happening in guangzhou china even mcdonald's you see it's a it's a mcdonald they don't even allow foreigners now to eat in mcdonald now in china you know like why 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 can i can i see like you see how many empty spaces you don't even want to let foreigners now to sit in McDonald's and eat. This is crazy. And the world is quiet about this. Something has to be done before I keep quiet. You and I together as an army on social media to spread the word. Help me spread this message. If today's your first time of seeing this face, don't forget to subscribe and be part 